Hello everyone, George here, and welcome to what shall be episode 6, I believe, of my Alien Isolation playthrough. I'm Just to give a sense of time, I'm doing this one later in the day after episode 5. Um, that was sort of the afternoon, it's now I think about half 11, close to 12. So it's m middle of the night and I'm playing in a darkened room. <laughs> so this can only go well. Um, yeah, I, I think I best just get into it, I think, um, before I convince myself, talk myself out of it. So as you may recall, I'm presently in the medical wing looking for a trauma kit in order to assist Taylor, who was wounded whilst venturing over to Sevastopol. She, I'm not going too badly, actually, after the sort of difficulty I encountered when I first entered the medical area, I made reasonable progress. I'm just trying to make my way slow towards the operating theatre, where assumedly one can locate this trauma kit. Uh, the alien, the alien is in my vicinity. Um, I haven't run into it for a wee while. I think it's touch wood that remains so, but it's it's certainly around. So I need to obviously be mindful of that. Um, to the best of my knowledge, I haven't obviously found any other humans or androids in this area, which is a saving grace, I suppose. No, it's just going to carry on from where I left off. Um, oh yeah, I, just a quick note. Um, you'll notice when I load up, this isn't exactly the area where I ended. Um, I when I last stopped filming, I played for an extra few minutes, um, literally just to um, reach a save point. So I'll indicate on the map where I went. I've not gone very far at all. I've literally gone down a few corridors, checked a few rooms, and that's about it. Okay. So, just to take stock of where I am. So, this was the office where I, um, this room here was where I sort of ended the video. I just went down these corridors. Well, actually, I kind of went about it the wrong way. I think I went all the way around. Um, right way round rather than going straight this way. But I was able to find the save station over here which was useful. Um trying to work out now where to go. Um I don't think I don't think this level is of use. I think I need to go in this direction. Just trying to work out where to go from here. Oh god. Right into it, I see. Um. Can I get under here? No, I can't. I'll just start on the screen and hope nothing comes up. <laughs> right into it. Okay. Claim your master directive. Very wise. Dr. Morley, I don't care what you think you need to do. What, what you think you need to do. I want you out of San Cristobal now. You know what we've seen up in there. I'm truly sorry for what it means for the patients who can't be moved. But this is the only way. There will be no further warnings, Marshal Waite. Morley, I need you out of medical. We've set up shop in the habitation tower. People are fighting over supplies. We've got more injuries coming in than we have them meds to deal with there. And my team is depleted to say the least. I don't know how you'll break the lockdown, but if you need to access San Cristobal's central wards, the code is 2505. Probably an important one to remember, 2505. San Cristobal Medical is locked down by the colonial marshals until further notice. Vastical's medical team are setting up field hospitals throughout the Vastical to deal with the ongoing crisis. Locations to follow Marshall Waits. Ah, excellent. Audio. This is Ransom. Remember me? Your friendly Sikhs and Chief Executive. Lingard, you don't drop by, you don't call. Aren't we pals anymore? Oh well, we're both busy people. And after all, I have lots of other friends. Some of them have badges. One of them told me you called Marshal Waits about a, shall we say, interesting find? I want in. No arguments. After all, how much does Waits really know about you? Not as much as your old friend here, 
and I bet he wouldn't be as understanding about black market med supplies. I look forward to your call, Doc. I love the cynicism and sort of subtle suggestion. I, I don't know why I like this person. <laughs> as shady and as questionable as his morals seem to be, you can't help but admire someone who's subtle but not so subtle. Now, just as a note on his fire point, when I left the um, when I left the office last time, I'll actually go to the map show you. When I left the office here, I did try to go right initially, but doing so um, started the fire. You can't really see it on here, but just to the right side of the office there. So I had that's why I had to go all the way around. So assumedly, this relates to the fire. I assume that shut everything down. Or shut the fire down, I should say, rather. Sh shut the fire down. You can't shut fires down. See, I'm losing my mind ever so slightly as a consequence of this game, I think. Oh, and this now gives me access to this channel here, doesn't it? No? Again, I wish I could still just admire the aesthetic, but I fear I can't. Okay, I'll save again just because I obviously read the terminal and don't want to have to go through all that again. I've saved at the same save station twice. So it's definitely down here I need to go. Ah, of course the code. Oh god. Key card required, blast. And of course the key card isn't gonna be right next to the door, is that unfortunately? Oh god. Don't you dare. <laughs> we offer the same insurance offered by the company that we work for. Just a funny coincidence. Okay, so I need to... What the devil? Sorry about this, I'm just going to look at the legend and see what that actually is. Oh, hold on, so that's... So there's a passcode lock here. Um, ah, I see. Okay. Okay, one moment. Um, slightly embarrassing, I'm Yes, yeah, so next to the computer, there's a passcode lock. Which obviously is where, um, This one will come in useful. 2505. So where is it then? Horrible thing when I activate this, the alien's going to come down or something. Samuels, I'm on my way. God, I hate that alien. Ah, oh, that xenomorph. Damn you. I just, uh I hope it's coming through on the audio, um, because the headphones have quite a strong bass as well. So the audio from it actually um, transiting the vents 
comes through exceedingly loud for me. Behind me, that's like Oh Jesus, mother of God! Oh, that was not good. Oh dear God. Damn you, game. Oh. Oh, I just saw the dead body. That was a bit much. Oh, good lord. Yeah, my heart actually jumped a little bit then. Oh, dearie me. That was a bit much for me. He's got to hell in here, Samuels. Oh, I don't know what's going on. I'm getting in here. Ah! Oh. oh, Jesus, mother of God, what the hell? What the devil? That was an ant, what? Okay, um, not quite sure what transpired there. Okay. Yeah, at least I don't need to go very far. And I know now that, um, I'm on my way. I know now that the, um, dead body there. It's just a dead body and it's nothing to worry about. Sorry, I'll just pause momentarily. I've um, had a pop-up on the screen. It'll be a good time to check to make sure it's still recording. Cancel that. Disengage as possible. Blast. You probably don't want to hear about my technical difficulties. <laughs> Heaven's sake. Okay, we just have to. There we go. Sorry about that. Oh, we are still recording. Okay. So I'm not sure what I'm going to have to do here. I might just have to play it at least relatively slow and just see what transpires. I might go around this way. He's got hell in here, Samuels. Okay. Like humans, that's a positive development. At least. I must say, it would be excellent if the Xenomorphs was contend with humans. That would be brilliant at this point in time. Um. I wonder if the station's realigning again, because there's definitely something going on. I must confess, I wasn't expecting to find other humans around here. There was a vent there and I just completely missed it and walked straight above it. Or straight under it, I should say, without realising.
Hmm. Yeah, so obviously I'm going to theatre. I wonder if that doorway there will lead me straight into it or not. I concur completely with that sentiment. Oh. Oh, Jesus, mother of God, no! Bye, just kill it for me, no! Ah! Oh. oh heavens! It might not even be your fate, Oh, okay. Um. He's got hell in here, Samuels. I think this is a theatre. Or at least the um, recovery room. Thing is, I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to um, walk past any particular objectives or anything interesting, but. Lift, I'll take the lift, hopefully in due course. I should really save or something before I do this. Autopsy report. Foster, Catherine. Connor's case, 1140. 39 female, crew member of the Anistora. Body identified by Marlo H. Anistora, Captain. Case, investigative agency, Sevastopol, Kermar, Authority. Okay, Captain. <laughs> well, that's useful. Um, very informative. I'm assuming this is the female who, um, yeah, I assume it's the female who was obviously attracted by the face of that one would assume. Turner, we've had something go down here in San Cristobal. Tape off the scene and make sure it's not touched until Garcia comes in with forensics. Keep this quiet for now. I want total silence. Last thing this station needs is a panic. And one other thing, if I find out who leaked this to Ransom, I'll make them eat their fucking badge. He <laughs> turned up quoted seeks and privileges and had a ringside seat for the whole goddamn mess. Why is the door just open? I don't need Ransom making it more complicated. Do you read me? Wait up. Just stare at the screen, just stare at the screen, you're fine. Just stare at the screen, George. No. <laughs> oh dear. I blame the other humans. <laughs> oh my, that was more comical than sc scary, I have to admit. Again, again, I concur completely with what she's saying. So this is obviously the first, this is the case number, this case zero one would assume. This is her. Samuels, I've got the meds. We're at the transit station outside medical reception. Ripley, we heard gunshots, and if we heard them, so did the creature.
<laughs> oh, that's <laughs> right. This is my um, recourse now is to continue using my open map. Might want to come back to where it was born. Oh, that's cut out the blood effect. Yeah, so this is where it all started. I don't think this room. Oh, I don't know if it could be of use. Um. That'll take me to that corridor there, which will take me back round. Wait, that's not good. They're blocked off! I've used... Is that a vending machine? I've used something to block off the doorway, obviously. Damn them. Come on, B. That's quite useful. That's quite a wear one. People have died today. Move on. Don't make us do this. How can she see me? No, that's fine. That's fine. Draw the alien. Draw the alien. Look, I don't. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my precious. Okay, I will get back on then quickly heal, but still, that was <laughs> Certainly using the xenomorph to my advantage now, I'm not going to complain. Thank you. Slightly more damage than I would have liked, but. I think it might have been in the other room. I don't think it was in this corridor. Okay, it's coming round from the left, I think. I can do this. Oh, I hate that when it walks past. Coming back. So go right in this direction if I can. Somewhere that I can't see him. Can't I hold it up in front of my face? I'm not sure. Ah, God damn it. Okay, he's back. Oh, good God. I wish you'd go back up in the vents. It's not especially when it was in the vents. Are all males... Interesting question, are all males xenomorphs he's? Oh, I'm not going to survive this. No, 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 don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Just, just. Ammunition is useful, ammunition is good. 
I'm not going to use Catapult to scare it away. I don't think that will work, but it's worth a try. Um... Can I search him? Oh my god, can I just search him? Why he has scrap on him, I don't know. It's difficult to tell. I think he's in the vents. I think... Oh, no, no, no. Not now, not now. Oh, Jesus Christ, someone's there. Get down here. I'm not looking. Oh, I can hear it behind me. Oh, oh no, 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 no! Oh, I'm so close. Ah, that's annoying. Um. Samuels, I've got the meds. We're at the transit station outside medical reception. Ripley, we heard gunshots. And if we heard them, so did the creature. Ah, okay, so there's more to this area. Oh, ambulance, that would be cool. Ripley, your way out through the medical reception is locked down. The only way to open up an exit is to trigger the hospital's evacuation procedure. Okay, I may have preempted the game here. I thought I was going to have to, um... I thought I was going to have to um, maybe shut off the lights or something, but okay. Good thing is, this will event will use a loud noise. It will draw the alien. Joy. Um, now, I don't get a chance to do this very often in the game, so I am going to look at the scenery. <laughs> Usual. I say it's not too often this game you actually get to admire the view, so to speak, so beautiful vistas. There's the alien. Oh well, I've saved the game, so if I do die at this point, it's not too dire. And that's wreckage. <laughs> Believe it. Yeah, it looks like wreckage. <laughs> it's a magic disappearing wreckage. Oh. Right then. Ah, I could stay looking at this all day. But no, that's a luxury I can't be afforded, unfortunately. Event in here. Anyway, I mean, I'm not going to. Yeah, there are vents. I'm going to risk it. I'll just. Oh, this is going to make a loud noise.
I'm sure it didn't hear that. Yep, it heard it. <laughs> That isn't the alien. Okay. So we need to go to the other side of the room. Quite an enigmatic star. Must be. It's quite large. Must be reasonably close to it. I think it must be one of the um, hot Jupiters uh, that are in close orbit to their current star. Large gaseous planets in close orbit. No. Oh, very loud, very loud, very loud, very loud. Oh, very loud indeed. What? Where the devil did you come from? Well, the door's locked, what? Where the... where did you come from? Ripley, are you okay? Ripley! <laughs> Where's the other... Oh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, no. No. Oh, good God. How the devil am I getting out of here? Where the devil am I going to start with? I'm a bit... If you find this facility in a state that isn't to your liking, please let me know. Oh, I'm happy to write a formal complaint. I really would. So the xenomorph is... So it doesn't care about the androids, synthetics. Or... That was a bit loud. I really shouldn't have walked like that. Something amiss. Come with me, please. Xenomorph, if you are my friend, come out now! Okay, fine, we'll try this. Oh, you blighter! Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> well, it's a learning curve, isn't it? Um, don't know where he came from, but.
Okay, just just come on. Right now. I don't think there is a path left. I. Oh, if there is, it would be brilliant. But I just don't think there is a path to the left. Yes, fantastic, good, excellent, brilliant, we can do this. Okay. Oh, no xenomorph, no xenomorph, no xenomorph. Just breathe, just breathe, just breathe. Go, just go, just go. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Okay, nothing on the sensor. Oh. Okay. Go, I just got to go. It's right behind me. I've got me back here! Oh god, what am I doing back here? Oh no, 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 no. What am I doing back here? That was utterly useless. That was so bloody useless. I th that was so useless! Budget, I'm running. Come on, you've got an android to kill. Xenomorph! Like oh, they shot me. <laughs> Um, not quite sure what to make of it. Uh, the vent was not what I anticipated. Oh heavens! I for a moment I thought I'd found the way. Um, ah bugger. Okay. Okay, like I say, I will almost certainly be cutting this down, but um, I'll keep the vent in there because that's quite in quite entertaining. Oh, where was I? And the humans are much more proficient with weapons than I gave them credit for. Well, it's fact someone hard as well. So it does seem like the alien does go after the android, which is useful. So I'm waking from alive. Because the foot race, I'm much faster than the android. Don't know how I'm going to do this. Um. These rooms here are quite tempting, uh, I must say. I mean, I'm assuming that the way out is through one of these ways here. Uh, looks like a doorway. I'm assuming this is the way. So go out this way. Just need to avoid the alien in the vent and then go into those rooms to the side. Xenomorph is there. He's going up there, that's fine. Roughly, 
Are you okay? Ripley? I might be making the same mistake I did last time and going here prematurely, but so be it. Yep, <sighs> premature. Oh well. Where's he gone? He must be standing at the front. That's the xenomorph to the side. And let's see some Fessic approaching me from that side. around the amazing stay back I will This way instead. I won't go that way then. Anyone else? Just get out of here. Back off. But that's a human. Okay, we're fighting the Xenomore. That's useful for me. I want to go through this room here. Good. Very good. Damn it. Kill them. Kill them. So close, I should have just hidden. Um Damn it. Last. That's definitely the route to take. Um
Okay then. <laughs> so close. Um. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so he's not going to move, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to go this way. That makes it impossible, I can't go through that doorway, can I? There's no way I'm going to be able to get through that doorway while the Xenomorph's there. Just belated. I'm not going to complain about that. OH YOU SON OF A- I think it's just me and the Xenomorph now. I think all the humans are gone. They did their purpose though. I mean... Yeah, I'm pretty close to where I need to be. Um, be a door in this particular room, couldn't there? Yes, that doorway there could be just what I need. Okay, he's in here, which is fine, I know what to do. Oh, where are you, you blighter? Come on. Well, I prefer you not to, but... I'm ready to hold my breath, but it doesn't seem like I need to. Oh, he's still in here! Come on! Don't go out that door, because I need to go that way. He's coming back. He's coming back. <laughs> he 
in a way he actually helped me a tad because I wanted to see if this door was open and it is. Okay, this is good. Just come on, come on, come on. <coughs> oh, jeez. Oh, dear. It's a cutscene, I'm okay. Oh. Okay, um. This is George once again. Now. This is the third time um, I've reached this section. The first time I died rather ingloriously by fire. The second time I fell whilst climbing, which you'll see in a moment. Um, again, I'm not sure how the editing has worked out. So this may be the first time you've reached this point with me. Uh, this may not be. Uh, yeah, the editing is going to be quite fun. Um, anyway, we'll see how it goes. Like I say, hopefully this time I will complete it. Okay, up we go! Come on. Just need to be mindful of pressing A when the um, prompt comes up. I must say, if this was a trap, which I assume it was, um, fairly effective. Obviously, we'll see if it manages. Now, this is where I fell last time. Come on. Uh, look, there could be a xenomorph around, but I've really got no choice but to carry on. Um, yeah, at this point of time. Yeah, at this point in time, I just got to carry on. Come on, this is right where I need to be. Although, this is probably the route the Xenomorph took to flee, so... Lord knows where this will put me. Seems quiet enough, though. Need a flare. Oh. Oh. Thank God. Mission. Ha. Oh. And it was a trap. Oh dear. Okay, that. Um, given the fact. Given how little distance there was between me and the end of the mission. Um, that took slightly longer than I just, but oh, I suppose it didn't, I suppose. No, to be fair, I suppose I had, um... Yeah, no, I suppose I had the entire theatre section too, so it wasn't too bad. Um, that last bit was quite trying, so there will be a lot of editing. Um, I'm not quite sure how much you would have seen. I'll uh, certainly make sure I've got at least one full playthrough. And probably a few of the extra little bits where I became particularly frightened, because there were a few of them. Um, was able to copy Android twice, so hopefully you'll be able to see that as well. This is a new mission, so I need to worry about saving, but I will just look for a save point or see what happens at the beginning of this mission. Uh, oh, I'm so pleased to have that done. Oh, sounds like the explosion did a little bit more damage than we would have before. Oh, good god, it did as well.
Oh, I see. You find an alternative left. Now, this would have saved at the beginning of the mission, wouldn't it? Surely it would. I don't want to have to go for that again. No, the Xenomorph's already here. That's a lot of flaws. Um, okay, I'm going to leave it here. Um, as I say, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Like I said, it'll be quite heavily edited, so it'll be interesting to see what the final product is. I'll try and include everything, though. So again, thank you for watching. And oh, I can reload this. <laughs> Learn something new every day. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you come the next episode.